good morning. This morning's devotion is Genesis chapter 33. It is the reunion of Jacob and Esau. Now, you might recall that word has come to Jacob that Esau is on his way to meet him, and he's bringing with him 400 heavily armed men. Jacob is afraid. The thing is, Jacob's been given a bunch of promises from God that would remind him that everything's going to work out just fine. Nevertheless, he arrives and he sees Esau and his armed men coming. He divides up the family and puts the people he likes the least up front and the people he loves the most he puts in the back so he could protect them. But when Esau arrives at verse 4, we read this. Then Esau ran to meet him and embraced him, threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, and they both wept. Jacob had been afraid for nothing. It turns out Esau, in the 20 years that they'd been apart, had managed to forgive Jacob and been able to move on with his life. But there's something else worth noting here. And it happens at verse 10. Jacob wants to give gifts to Esau. Esau is not really interested. He's like, that's not what this is about. I'm just happy to have my brother back in town. Um, but we end up reading this at verse 10. But Jacob insisted, No, if I have found favor with you, please accept this gift from me. And what a relief to see your friendly smile. It is like seeing the face of God. Like seeing the face of God. That is a phrase that we have just heard. In chapter 32, Pastor Paul talked about it the other day. They wrestled, or Jacob wrestled, with a man who turns out to be God himself. And when the wrestling match was done in chapter 32, verse 30, this is what's written. Jacob named the place Peniel, which means face of God. For he said, I have seen God's face, yet my life has been spared. <laughs> it's no coincidence that Jacob is making a connection here. Jacob recognized that even though he looked in the face of God with courage, God spared him and he had nothing to fear in the end. And the same is true of Esau. He had to be brave as he went to face his brother, not sure of what would happen. But at the end of the day, he just needed to remember to, to trust in God's promise. And that's what we are called to do, to trust in God's promise to us. God promises to love us no matter what. So no matter how terrifying the circumstance, no matter how, how uh, terrifying the army might be that's coming our way, trust in God. And you may be surprised where you find his smiling face shining into the situations of your life. Have a great day, everybody. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, Subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.